So RUDX stands for Realistic Urban Training Exercise. What it brings to the table for the MU is uh, interoperability uh, across the three supporting elements uh, within the Maritime Raid Force, which consists of the Amphibious Reconnaissance Platoon, uh, the Force Reconnaissance Platoon, as well as the Security Platoon, which comes from uh, the BLT. The purpose of RUDX 22.1 was to put us in urban environments that we can expect to operate in in Endo PACOM AOR for the 31st MU in support of EABO and stand-in forces. So the reason why RUDX is so important to uh, the Marines as well as to the MRF, uh, which is supporting 31st MU, is because it provides uh, a realistic uh, venue for Marines to problem solve through complex problems. Reconnaissance was conducted on each one of the sites, each one of the objectives by the ARP and then it was raided by the Force Reconnaissance Platoon, which was um, secured and blockaded by the security element. So it's, it's very much um, choose your own adventure. It's, it's very much uh, re as realistic as possible. Uh, what really EOTG is just there to support uh, however we uh, plan and whatever our develop scheme maneuver is. It's basically a display of the skills that each one of the platoons have been training in over the past year uh, in regards to urban environments. Most Marines are stuck training on military Marine Corps establishments, but now you have to kind of think outside of the box, start noticing what you need to do to blend into the local population. And we're not able to do that anywhere else except for here pretty much, is be able to actually go into the community and conduct reconnaissance in as much of a real world situation as we can get. The training is invaluable. We are not able to conduct training across this venue um, usually. So having the support from EOTG uh, to be able to develop the scenario and kind of white sell it from an exercise control perspective and allow us, again, the freedom of, freedom of movement uh, to conduct operations and planning in the way that we see it and the way that we want to uh, solve the problem. That was extremely beneficial. It's recommended for any MRF and I would hope to do it again for the second float in support of the MU.